What's up everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the ChatGPT's newly introduced code interpreter feature. If it's not installed or set up on your ChatGPT account, what you can do is make sure that you have ChatGPT Plus subscription, then go to settings, go to beta features, and make sure that this code interpreter option is toggled on. Then come back and go to GPT-4 and select code interpreter. And voila, now you are inside the GPT-4's code interpreter. Now, the first use case that came to my mind was really the ability to upload a file. It can be a contract or a really long PDF document that I don't want to go through, but uh, still be able to get the information that I want. So if that we can achieve with chat GPT, uh, I mean, that's a really, really cool feature to have. Uh, and to our surprise, yeah, ChatGPT does it really well. The code interpreter can read the file. If you haven't noticed already, we have this option to upload a file now. So if I click on it, now I can upload any file that I want. For this video, uh, I have chosen this PDF file, which is a book on artificial intelligence. So if we really upload this file, you can see it now uploads the file. And what we can do now is ask some specific questions in the context of this particular document so let's say what is this pdf document about you can see we are getting some output and we are getting this message saying working if you click on this show work you can see it is really uh, generating some python code which is reading the pdf file and extracting the information from it you don't need to copy the code now and run it manually it's all going to be done by uh, chat gpt's code interpreter for you so if we hide the work you can see it says that the PDF is titled An Introduction to Artificial Intelligence and it is written by Harvey Baum, which is correct. So this means that uh, now the context of this chat, chat has been changed to this PDF document. You can ask any questions in the context of this book now and you will get back the answers. This is really helpful if you don't want to read your employment contract. You just upload the file here and ask it all the questions that you want to know and be done with it <laughs> yeah so i i really like this feature and yeah let's move on to the next use case since we can upload any file to chat gpt why not use chat gpt as an ocr so i'm going to upload an image file which is this one and i can simply say extract all text from this image as you can see we again get working which is basically the generation of Python code. And if we hide it, you can see uh, the text on the image was, please subscribe my channel. Now guys, you have to subscribe to my channel uh, because ChatGPT is also telling you to subscribe to my channel. But really guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated for creating more content like this. So let's move on to the next one. This time I want to upload an image which is this file and i want to get all the dominant colors from this image uh, basically what i want is a color palette from this image so i'll frame my message like this give me all the dominant colors from this image that is color palette and also draw a color swatch for this so let's see what we get it's again working it's working for us guys yeah So you can see it drew a color palette for us. Uh, these are all the dominant colors from that image. And we also get uh, the colors as hexadecimal values as well. This can be really helpful in web design if you, uh, you know, uh, if you want to match all the colors with all the images. So yeah, this can be really helpful. For context, this was the original image. Since we can get all the colors, I think we can use ChatGPT as a photo editor as well. So my next message is going to be, I want the above image in black and white. It finished working, but I didn't get the link or any download option. Give me the download option as well. So let's click here and see what happens. So the file is downloading. And as you can see, the original photo has been converted to a black and white photo. So yeah, we use ChatGPT as a photo editor, which is, <laughs> which is just amazing. 
this is interesting and all, but I want to take it to the next level. So I have cleared all the chats and I'm going to upload a new image. This time, this one. So what I actually want to do this time is I want to create a GIF from an image. So uh, I'll ask ChatGPT to give me a GIF from this image with zoom in animation. So let's see what we get. So it's working. I'm really excited for this one. Let's see what we get. So we got a GIF. Let's download it. The file is downloaded. Let's see what we have. Okay, you can see a GIF with the zoom in animation, which looks really awesome. I really like this one. So enough of this photo editing things. We have successfully turned ChatGPT into a photo editor. Rest in peace, Photoshop. Condolences from my side. Uh, now let's move on to some visualization. So we already have an image. Why not create a histogram from this image? So give me a histogram of the original image. Let's see what it comes up with. Straight to the work. Let's see what we get. Here is a nice looking histogram of our image, which is absolutely amazing. So we have the frequency, we have the pixel intensity. Yeah, that's 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 good. Uh, that reminds me of another use case, which is uh, uploading the CSV files to chat GPT, giving it some data and then making sense of that data. So let's upload a CSV file which is uh, data about Fortune 500 companies. It's a data set. I took it from Kaggle. Let's say we don't know what this data set is about. Let's ask ChatGPT, what is this CSV data about? So it's telling us that the CSV data you provided appears to contain information about Fortune 500 companies. And it's now giving us the information about all the columns that are inside the CSV file and what they represent, which is really amazing. So let's stop the generation. Let's ask it. I want you to create some visualizations out of it. And it's asking us here are some potential visualizations we could create from this data. Let's start with a pie chart. A pie chart. And now it's asking us which column do we want to visualize. Uh, let's visualize industry. You can see this is really nice. It's interacting with us, uh, asking us what we really want. Uh, it's not just throwing out some random outputs. Uh, that we may or may not like, but it's working with us, uh, getting to know what we want and then visualizing it. So here is a nice looking pie chart that it generated from all that data. The labels are kind of messed up, but this is really impressive. Let's, let's, let's do a bar chart. Let's do a scatter plot. Let's do a scatter plot of industries as well. And it says a scatter plot usually requires two numerical variables. In this case, we can plot the revenue mill and pro against the profit mill for each industry. So let's see what it comes up with. Wow, that looks really beautiful. I don't know if this graph is correct or I am giving it the correct information right now, but you can see the potential. You can see what it is capable of doing. This graph looks really amazing. I love it. So yeah, these are some of the use cases for the ChatGPT's new code interpreter. Let me know down in the comment section what you, what you think about this. And if you have any more suggestions, uh, I have few more use cases. Uh, if you want to see them, I can make another video about that. This video is getting really long. So yeah, if you want to see that, do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other uh, use cases that you saw with this amazing technology, then do let me know and others in the comment section. As always, do subscribe to this channel. Give this a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.